Greetings people, stay right where you are. In just a second, our feature film will begin. Right after I give you a little introduction about the film. We have another great old black and white murder mystery from the 1930s and 40s. We want to be your source for these wonderful films from a bygone age. So please hit the like button and you know the rest. This helps our channel grow. So stay with us. Enjoy the movie. Coming soon to Hastings Mystery Theater. It's a 1942 mystery thriller. Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon. Sherlock Holmes saves noted Swiss physicist Franz Tobel from the Gestapo in Zurich and smuggles him to London. It stars Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce. Don't miss Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon. Good evening. Welcome to Hastings Mystery Theater. I'm your host and mystery master, Randall Schaefer. Tonight, the corridors of mystery are going to take us back to 1938 for an MGM picture entitled Algiers. Tonight's movie, Pepe Lamoco, is a notorious French jewel thief that has escaped from France with a fortune in jewels. He is hiding out in Algeria and is living in the huge and maze-like Caspa, where his money has assured him an impregnable lifestyle. The French police know where he is but dare not try to arrest him because his knowledge of the Casbah would allow him to easily avoid the police if his henchmen do not kill them first. He lives a life of luxury and indulgence, his every wish satisfied, as long as he remains in the Casbah. But slowly, Lamaco begins to feel trapped in the Casbah. Then he meets Gabby, a woman tourist from Paris, and they reminisce about the beauty of Paris, the fine restaurants and cultural attractions. Lamoco starts to feel like a prisoner as he falls in love with Gabby. His local mistress, played by Sigrid Guri, becomes jealous and things get much more interesting. Our stars are Charles Boyer and Hedy Lamar. Charles Boyer was born in France in 1899. He was too young to fight in World War II. So he entertained patients in an army hospital while working as an orderly. After the war, he found stage work. And that led to small parts in silent movies. When sound was added to movies in 1929, his deep romantic voice and French accent, which became the inspiration for the voice of the cartoon skunk Pepe Le Pew by voice actor Mel Blanc in 1945, catapulted him into leading roles for the rest of his career. At the outbreak of World War II, Boyer returned to France to join the French army. French authorities thought Boyer making pro-France movies would help the war effort more. He was married just once. His wife died in 1978. Two days later, he committed suicide with pills. He was 78 years old. Hedy Lamar was born in Vienna, Austria in 1914. She made a few movies in Austria before getting married at age 18 to a munitions manufacturer who thought movie work tarnished his family's reputation. At age 24, she fled her husband in Austria for London, where she met Louis B. Mayer, the head of MGM. He gave Lamar her first American film role as Gabby in tonight's film, she made movies for 20 more years until retiring from exhaustion. Hedy Lamar was married and divorced six times. She lived the last 35 years of her life alone and in seclusion. She would talk on the phone for hours each day, but refused to meet with anyone. Few people are aware that she was also an inventor. During World War II, she co-invented a torpedo homing system adopted by the Navy in the 1950s. The principles are still used today in wireless technology. She also helped Howard Hughes streamline his airplanes so they would fly faster with less fuel. Lamar and her co-inventor were posthumously inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014. Hedy Lamar died in 2000 at age 85, a truly remarkable woman. Let's return to 1938 and enjoy Charles Boyer and Hedy Lamar in Algiers. Oh no, oh no, oh no. 
interested in hearing excuses about local conditions. No doubt they're local conditions. Here's a criminal whose exploits have made him notorious throughout Europe. He escaped from France with a fortune in jewels, and for two years he's been living here in Algiers, within a stone's throw of your headquarters. As you say, Commissioner. I'm here to settle this. I want it done quickly. We've been trying to settle the case of Pepe Lamoco for two years. In Paris, we handle more difficult cases every day. Too bad you didn't arrest him before he escaped from France. Merely an oversight, no doubt. Do you deal in riddles here? Indeed we do. Oriental riddles. From my experience, there's no problem in surrounding a given area. You close in and you make a house-to-house -house investigation. A house-to-house -house investigation? You've just arrived in Paris, Commissioner. You're not familiar with the Caspar. Caspar? What's that? Some kind of nut? A very hard nut to crack. You see, Pepe Lamoco lives in the Caspar. Why not go in? Take him out of it. You can't arrest a king in his own palace. Pepe's well guarded. Let me show you. Oh, it's fantastic. As a civilized man, you don't like fantasy. As a police officer, I don't believe in it. But here it is. The native quarter known as the Caspar. As you look at it here, it's just a few lines on the map. But the reality is something stranger than anything you could have dreamed. It's only a step from the modern city of the Caspar. But when you take that step, you enter another world. A melting pot for all the sins of the earth. Seen from a bird's eye view, the Caspar is a great staircase. Each step is a terrace rising from the sea. If you observe more closely, you'll see that those terraces and courtyards and twisted streets are like a crawling anthill, a jungle of houses. A labyrinth of narrow passages and winding alleys, rotten with vermin and decay and the filth of centuries. No one knows what mysteries are hidden behind those walls. No one knows what crimes and hopes are buried in those secret courtyards. 40,000 inhabitants from all over the world. Some have been settled here for generations. There are Kabyles in their white robes, Chinese faithful to Confucius, gypsies with their fortune telling in their songs. There are many Czechos, there are Slavs far from home, Maltese, Negroes from every corner of Africa, Sicilians and Spaniards, hot-blooded and quick to hate, and women. Women of every age and every shape. Women caught in the net of the Caspar. And everywhere there are terraces, all connected together so that those who are accepted can move to any part of the Caspar without using the street. 
terraces are the domain of the native women, and it'd be dead for a foreigner to go there unless you were known and protected. The Casbah rises like a fortress from the sea, colorful, sordid, dangerous. There isn't just one Casbah, there are a hundred, a thousand. And in that labyrinth, Pepe Lamoco is at home, and he's safe as long as he stays there. You mean to say that you don't go into this quarter? It's easy to go in. Sometimes it's not so easy to come out. You cross the deadline. Suddenly, a bullet at your feet. It's just a friendly suggestion. Don't take the next step. From a roof up above, a voice speaks. Hello, Inspector. How did you know you were there? Don't ask us. Ask Inspector Slimane. The Casbah is his territory. How does Pepe Lamoco conceal himself? Disguise, no doubt. <laughs> you don't know Pepe. He'd laugh at the disguise. Why don't you find him? Oh, but that is singularly easy. I see him every day. What? Our distinguished colleague is disturbed. The man is wanted in all the capitals of Europe and you see him every day. Another example of what you call local condition. Gross inefficiency, no effort to make an arrest. To arrest him in the Caspa, distinguished colleague, would be simple. To get him out would be impossible. So you do nothing? I flatter myself that I do a great deal in my humble way. I learn about Pepe. I know his habits. I study his weaknesses. When one can't use guns, one must work with brains. I prefer guns. In your case, honored sir, such a preference is unavoidable. By his looks, I'd say he was too lazy to make an arrest. I'm merely careful. Which means to say that you're looking after your own skin. It's the only skin I have. So Pepe Lamoco wouldn't amuse me. We'll find out. I want 12 men tonight, inspected and ready for work. And you might prepare a special cell for Pepe Lamoco. You and I have the same feeling, Pepe, for beauty. The spell belongs on a very special kind of ear. Like a pink shell with a little girl of gold hair. A special kind of gold. I can see it. No, pearls don't suit you at all, Carlos. You're not the type. He'd look better with rings in his ears. Yes, and one in his nose. He is definitely uncouth. You took the words out of my mouth. He's trying to cheat us, Pepe. All this talk is so he can get a better price. So he can make fools of us. Yes, so easy to make a fool of me. Why don't you try it sometime? Grandpere has dealt with us for two years. We must have confidence in each other. That's the way to get along. That's the truth, Pepe. Yeah, well, why don't we get our money and be done with it? He doesn't speak our language. Pretend he is not here. Yes, but I am here. He doesn't know he's not here. One more thing he doesn't know will make it practically a perfect score. He was talking about beauty. The more he talks about beauty, the less he talks about money. And I'm talking about how much. Oh, you make me sick. What? Say that again. You make me sick? Since you make him sick? Okay. Look, but don't touch. You know, this was once my trade. I began life in a jewelry store. And when you left, you took the store with you? Yeah, it became a habit. You know, I dream about settling down in Paris sometime. I'd make a collection of things like this, not just for myself, for people to see in glass cases. With you in a uniform taking care of them, Gil, and you, Max. And me? You, Pierrot? Oh, you'd have a uniform like a general, and you'd be in charge of everything. Well, what about me? What would he be? Stuffed in a glass case? What? Say that again. Stuffed in a glass case? Like an Egyptian mummy. Okay. Hey, police!
Eu, tu es très belle ma femme. Anna, ma bonne fou. I don't know. By the sword of the great prophet, I haven't set eyes on him in two weeks. He hasn't let me look on his face in two weeks. Let him go. Uh, uh, uh. Wrong pair. Who's he? Receiver of stolen goods. You know where his place is? We know it. Soon? Soon? Were you expecting them? Always. But especially tonight, Peppy said they sent someone all the way from Paris. Ah, but he knew. Of course, Peppy knows everything. You're, you're going to him? To tell him I've never seen so many of them. <laughs> He'll laugh. That's what he expected. Look, look at my neck. I, I, I thought they were going to ring it like a chicken. But all the time I thought only of Peppy. But not kill me, I thought so long as Peppy. Why should you feel that way about Peppy? Don't you? I? Everyone knows how I feel about Pepe. Uh, Pepe doesn't like me. He ignores me, humiliates me. But I'll have my revenge. Sometime he'll be sorry he didn't notice me sooner. Oh, I'm very humble. I do my best to serve him in my own way. That's nice of you, Richie. Well, and that's how I am. Sensitive. But no one appreciates me. Promise me you'll tell him that I came to warn him. I will. I don't want any favors. I only want him to know that where there's trouble, look courageous. Third door on the left. Take three men, cover the roof. You men go around the back. Around to the house. They know you're here. That's funny. How did they know I was here? Oh, one can't meditate in peace anymore. Always rush and bustle. I'll take this one. I rather like it. You think it's a toy? Well, when will you know it will be ordered? See? <laughs> Don't take so many chances. That's foolish. I don't want a bullet to come between us, the way that one almost did.
Break it down. Every few weeks, I have to get new doors. Highness, did you tell anyone where I was? No one, Pepe. You're sure? Try to remember. Why don't you believe me, Pepe? All I want is to please you. I couldn't lie to you. Couldn't you? What about all that time you kept telling me that you didn't like me? But this is serious. Ah, so? Love is not serious. Pepe, it's serious if someone told the police. I didn't talk to anyone. I stayed at home until Riches came. Who came? Riches. Hmm. As soon as he told me, I ran to you. What did Riches tell you? About the police. He wanted me to warn you. It was nice of him. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. But... Is that all you thought? Was there anything else for me to think? <laughs> That's what I like about you. What? <laughs> Never mind. This seems to be all. All for me. Search the place. your hand. Don't grab. It's unlucky. You want to give it to me, baby? No. It's for some fat old woman. Let me have it, baby. Sometime I'll get fat. Who's it before that? No. I'll keep it for a charm. Then you must keep your fingers crossed. All right. This ring will mean that I'm always yours, Pepe, with my fingers crossed. Those vandals are turning my house upside down. They'll be in here next. Let's get out. Now, you stay here. When the police come, you know what to say. No evidence? Nothing. Are you satisfied? I'm never satisfied. Take your men back to the road. The rest of you follow me. There they go. What is this? What happened? Oh, it's nothing. You call this nothing? Oh, you know how the police are. They like to keep everything in an uproar. A very profound observation. The police have been trying to catch him for two years. Police must be rather stupid. As one of them, I consider that a triumph of understatement. You are one of them? I have that doubtful honor. How does he do it? Good head. It's not his head that saves him, it's his heart. A man with such a good heart could get around anyone. Sounds intriguing. <laughs> That's a matter of taste. 
Oh, Inspector. Fix it up. Permit me to hope that it's nothing serious. Thanks. A flea bite. you chasing the fox? Oh, such a silly business. I prefer to use my brains. Well, your friends did a little better than usual tonight. At least they found me. That's pretty good for them. Shall we say a step in the right direction? Excuse us, madam, if we talk shop. Cigarette? Please. Oh. Let me help you. So, they surrounded the house. Yes. <laughs> they thought I was at Grand Pairs. <laughs> Poor old man. He has no luck. They won't even let him sleep in peace. Sometimes I feel sorry for them. They'll never get me by this technique, you know. I've tried to point that out to them. <laughs> for once we agree, the inspector and I. I am the one who will get you, Papa, in the end. I can hardly wait for a day. And not only you, but the others. Piero, Carlos, Grandpere, all of you. And then what will you do? Put us in the zoo? <laughs> you flatter yourself. Oh, you mean you won't show me in a cage? You're important now because you're free. Once you're behind bars, people will forget all about you. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny, my friend Slimane. He looks normal, doesn't he? But he has delusions of grandeur. He thinks he can arrest me. That's exactly what I'm going to do, Pepe. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. You know what I like about you? No, but I'm humbly waiting for you to tell me. Your face. It's a perfect face for your job. To look that false is almost the equivalent of being honest. I'm honored that my appearance pleases you. Don't mention it. You'll excuse me. I'm afraid I have to go. Business. Good luck, Pepe. It's a shame, isn't it? What? A waste of talent, an unusual intelligence. One hates to see him buried so young. Buried? It's the same thing. What makes you so sure? I've marked the date of his arrest on the wall of my room. High, ah, where it reads black in the rays of the setting sun. Shall we go? And although we narrowly missed capturing Pepe Lemoco, he was evidently wounded while escaping. In fact, his injuries may prove fatal. In the event of his death, I shall inform you without delay. Why don't you just declare him dead and be done with it? You may rest assured that I have the situation well in hand and will take whatever steps I deem advisable. Wire that to Paris immediately. What does he mean by saying he has the situation well in hand? He means he's going to sit here and write letters to Paris while he waits for Pepe to die of old age. That's better than going into the Caspar looking for him. At least our friend from Paris has learned something about the Caspar. We've all learned that there's only one way to arrest Pepe. Oh, that's very intelligent of you. As you know, my intelligence is at your service. Well, so far, it's hardly been enough. Ah, but wait. Suppose Pepe comes out of the Caspar. Then it follows his arrest as a matter of child's play. Shall we send him an engraved invitation? Huh? Oh, <laughs> Pepe's too clever to fall into a trap. But some of his friends are not so clever. Get to the point. Now, ah, suppose Piero comes down into the town. Pepe will be worried by his absence, and he'll come down into the town to find him. 
You overlook just one little point. How do you get Piero to come down? Ah, that's my plan. A magnificent plan. I have here a letter. I got it from Piero. But he doesn't know that. The letter's from his mother. A letter of exquisite tenderness. Mm, from France. Can't see much value in that. He's a bad boy, but a good son. So it isn't the good son that we lock up, but the bad boy. Then we keep the arrest a secret, and Pappy will come down out of the Casbah to look for Piero. Ah. Ah. Are we agreed? Agreed. Ah. And uh, as to the price? You know the reward's being posted. Oh, but a little bonus besides, in uh, view of the circumstances. Agreed. How do we know we can trust you not to make a better bargain with Pepe? I'm an informer, not a hypocrite. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It amuses me to see you sell your friends at bargain prices. You have a flair for business, Regis. <laughs> he says that because he's jealous. It doesn't upset me. <laughs> I ignore him. And how is Carlos? Of course he be. Don't tell me your charming husband has been beating you again. You know how it is with a man. Well, I can't say I do. They seem to take to it naturally. Morning, Freddy. Good morning, Pepe. Good morning, Pepe. Hello. Good morning, Pepe. Good morning. Better watch out, Pepe. Women will be the death of you. It's a happy day. Just warning you. Don't worry, I'll keep my head. I may need it one of these days. No doubt. Coming my way? With pleasure. Good morning, Pepe. Morning. Good morning, Pepe. Good morning. Did you get home safely last night? Why not? Good morning, Pepe. Morning. Nothing unpleasant? Yes, we had one rather unpleasant experience. Yeah? With you. She didn't think so. What makes you so sure? What did she say? Well, you know, women, they talk about nothing. I hardly listen. Was there anything special about her? Yes, girls. The color I like. Handcuffs I can appreciate. Platinum and diamonds. And she didn't buy that perfume in Algiers. So all you noticed were the jewels and perfume. Was there anything else? What about the eyes? What? Well, they all have eyes. But all that chichi and jingle, you don't see much of that in the Casbah. But you do where she comes from. Dayeb. She asked quite a few questions about you. Yeah? What did you tell her? Uh, what could I tell her? Why? Do you think she might be afraid of my past? No, but she might be a little appalled at your future. I told her you might get off for 20 years with a good lawyer. Oh, you wouldn't want me to get 20 years. You're too fond of me. What's her name? So, you're thinking about her. How could I be thinking about her when I don't know her name? <laughs> huh? <laughs> good morning, Percy. Hello, Aisha. You go at home? No, he's at Chinese. Let's go to Shani's. What do you want? Oh, oh. <laughs> I have a letter from Piero. Well, give it to me. Oh, no, no, no. I can't. I swore by the bones of my ancestors to give it only to Piero. Who's the letter from? A woman. What kind of a woman? No, I didn't look. Will you tell the woman I took it away from you? Uh -huh. <laughs> This vulgar game is hardly worth the compromise to one's dignity involved in playing it. It's vulgar, but it's fast. I don't know why I waste my time in such common pursuits with such mediocre companions. My youth, I intended to become a statesman or a philosopher. 
But a man's destiny is written in the stars. We play the game, but fate controls the cards. Who? Fate. If fate goes on controlling the cards, he might find a knife between his ribs. The moving finger writes, and having writ, moves on. Stop that nonsense. Oh. He has an ear, but not for poetry. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I would have played the ace. You smell something? I've been wondering. Onions. Cheese. A mixture of cheese and onions. I don't like it. Would it be too much to ask you to take your nose out of my hand? But you haven't got a hand. <laughs> and don't blow down my back. You seem nervous. My dear fellow, consider yourself blackballed by this club. Huh? He means get out. Oh. What are you hanging around for? This is business. Read this. Bad news? Be alone. Wait for me. I would like it better if you didn't hang around so much with Regis. Why? Did you ever see a clock that pointed to two and struck four? Well, it is really a quarter past twelve. Well, your friend Regis is like that. He doesn't ring true. That's what you say, but you can't prove it. Well, if I say so, that's enough. Well, Regis gets along all right with me. Well, that's why I'm telling you I don't like it. Well, I do. In business, I'll do anything you say, Peppy. But outside business, I'll do as I please. Oh, so... You'll do as you please. <laughs> it's a good thing I like you. Knock it out. <laughs> nice kid. What did she write you in her last letter? She had a cold. Uh -huh. She said she'd start as soon as she felt better. Ah, then you knew she was coming. I sent her a money order. Well, in that case, it isn't so strange. And yet it's odd that she should arrive in Algiers like that without letting you know. That's what I thought. Ah, is this her handwriting? Have you another letter on it? Yes, I think so. Good. We'll put them both together, like a pair of Siamese twins. Then we'll see if they're both from the same mama. Mm hmm? Well, what do you think? Same mistakes in spelling. <laughs> Our poor dear mamas can never spell. Same M. Same what? Same M. And the crossing of the T. Well, that settles it. You can always tell by the T. Then you think it's all right? Well, you can see with your own eyes. And I don't want her to be there worrying. After all, she's 62. Oh, my mother lived to 84, but she never felt better than the day she died. <laughs> Rue de la Brevoix. Where's that? Oh, I know it well, half hour's walk. I can take you there, if you wish to go. I've got to go. I've got to see it. Fortunately, you can rely on me. It's good of you to help me, Regis. You're a real friend. Well, that's how I am. Sensitive. <laughs> You ready, Gabby? Andre just phoned. They're waiting on the terrace. About start for five minutes, Andre phones. Well, don't you like having him so attentive? Love it. I've just been sitting here thinking that I'm the happiest girl in the world. Well, you ought to be. Marrying a man who adores you and can give you everything in the world you ever dreamed about. That's my trouble. I'm such a fool. I go dreaming about the wrong things. Well, that's a terrible mistake. Marie, remember the time in the Bonton bargain basement? The two of us behind the counter? Handkerchief, gloves, hose feet. And don't you forget it. I won't.
After all, you don't marry for fun. I didn't. Hello, Inspector. So you have already met. I took the liberty of presenting myself. As you see, I couldn't wait to take advantage of your invitation last night. I'm glad. Yes, we're all glad. Inspector, will you tell my fiancé where I was last night during the shooting? But with me. There you see. And whom did we meet? Pepe Lemoco. Nice friend you have. In business, one can't choose. You don't mean Pepe Lemoco, mm -hmm. the famous criminal? The one they're all talking about? He'd like to hear you say that. Just a common lawbreaker. <laughs> have you seen him, sir? Mm-hmm. This morning. Did he say anything about me? Well, in a way. Oh, I know. My pearl. A connoisseur can admire pearls without neglecting the wearer. Oh, he means if he stole your pearls, he'd steal you with them. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that frighten you, Gabby? Oh, it sounds marvelous to me. I'd like to meet him. It can easily be arranged. If you wish to visit the Caspa again with a suitable guide. How's that, Andre? An adventure? Well, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Once is enough for me. I don't like natives. And we'll go with Maxime. You'll protect us, won't you, Maxime? Oh, I'm at my best among natives. Tonight, Inspector, if it's convenient? Mm-hmm. Pepe! Yes? What are you doing? Nothing. What are you looking at like that? France. You can't see France. Well, there is no harm in trying. Pepe, what are you looking at like that? A ship. Doesn't it make you seasick to look at boat? Doesn't it give you a headache to ask so many questions? No. Why, have you got a headache? Oh, no, I'm thinking. Well, that's sure to give you a headache. I don't think with my head, but with my heart. Then you'd better tell me. It's nothing. If it's nothing, you'd better tell me. Oh, I'll get mad if you go on like this. I want you to get mad. Shout at me, hurt me, but don't treat me as if I'm not here. Oh, I know you're here. No, you don't. You are dreaming about something with your eyes wide open. I wish you'd dream about me. Look, you've always lived in the Casbah. For you, there is nothing outside. The Casbah's big enough. Not for me. It's like being in a grave. Pepe. Don't stand much more of it. If you want to go away, I'll go with you. Thanks. Won't you take me? I wish I could. Paris is a long way off. I don't care. But it's different there. Couldn't you be happy with me in Paris? You think I'd look funny in Paris? Answer me. Oh, but it isn't you, Inez. It's the Casper. You belong here. You don't understand the way I feel. I've stood it for two years. The time comes when you can't stand anymore. Morning, noon, and night. Same things, the same people. I'm fed up. I've had enough. You're tired of me. There's nothing to do with you. I want to get away. Oh, that has nothing to do with me. Do you know when you're going away? Never. You'll see. You can't do it. Never. I am the cause, but I'll keep you. Just try to get away and you'll find out. <laughs> It's funny for the police to come in and try to arrest you. You're in prison already. You're in the cup by the wall around you. Stop it. There's nothing else. You'll never have anything else. Stop it, I tell you. I am glad. There is no France for you. No Paris. No Boulevard. Are you fool? No. <laughs>
is it? You? It's me, Archer. You go to Chenis? Yes, and I went to Mother Tetch's and the Alibaba and, and the Algerians. Everywhere. He ought to be back by now. Back? From the Rue de la Bribois. Well, why did he go into town? To see his mother. What do you mean to see his mother? He got a letter from her. Larby brought it. And then he went down with Regis. And then Regis came back, but Pierre. I'm still waiting for him, that's all. Where's Aegis? At the Algerians. No need to go down. Here, thanks. See you later. Hello, Aegis. What's your hurry? Oh, I'm in no hurry. Good, then come along with me. I'm waiting for Pio. We can wait for him together. Uh, but listen, Peppy, I've got to What's go down. What's the matter? What makes you so nervous? Me? Nervous? Why should I be nervous? Uh, just it. Why? Well, it's only that usually you hardly say hello to me when you do, so I don't expect it when you don't. I, I'm a little surprised when you do because you don't usually... Well, you see, I haven't appreciated you at your real value. That's the trouble. So I made a mistake. Shall we go? Where? Oh, in a quiet corner where we can talk. I've been hearing great stories about your courage. My courage? You're surprised? Uh, no. Oh, I even hear you've proved it. Me? Yes, you. Well, it, it, it's possible. What, what, one can be brave without knowing it. <laughs> of course. Uh, how, how did I prove it? Why, by going down into town with you. Ah, not everybody would have done that. Uh, oh, yes. And after that, you came back here. That was a brave thing to do. <laughs> yes, wasn't it? <laughs> now, you see why I have completely changed my ideas about you. You're all right. I was helping the boy out, nothing more. Of course. Uh, tell me, where did you leave Pierre? Uh, somewhere, I don't quite remember. Rue de la Beauvoir? Uh, that's it. Uh, you don't mind if I refresh your memory, do you? He went to see his poor old mother. How was she? Uh, I didn't see her. Why not? Uh, she, she was in bed, sick. He, he, he didn't want to disturb her. Mm. That must have been an awful shock for Pierre. He thought she was in France. I think he got a letter. Did you see it? I, uh, just a, a glimpse. So you left him? And you came back alone? He wanted to stay with her. That's natural. <laughs> yes, very natural. Exactly. Of course. Want me? No, we were just talking. Sit down. Regis did a fine thing today. He went down into town with Piero. Fine. And now you're waiting for poor Piero. Why poor Piero? Because he went down with Regis. What of it? Pepe. Maybe I should say. And now you're waiting for Piero with poor Regis. <laughs> Relax. Take it easy. We understand how anxious you are about Bill. Here, take this. 
Go ahead, drink. <laughs> don't take a bite out of it. I don't know what's the matter with me. You'll get over it. You know now you'll feel much better. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. Oh, oh, with a fever like that, you mustn't think of exerting yourself. Cigarette? Don't make such a fuss. Go on and smoke. It'll settle your nerve. Say, Peppy, his hair is getting a little long here on his neck. Don't you think we ought to cut it for him? You were fond of Pierre, weren't you? Oh, I was. I am fond of him. Well, then, you don't want to leave before he gets back. You want to know why he's been detained, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, burst of the fever. I'm worried about you. He's burning up. I'm afraid he'll sizzle before long. I don't know anything about Piero. Peppy, Peppy, let me go. You know me. You, you, you know I'm all right. Tell me you do. Last night I was the one who came to warn you. Yes, you were the one. Let me go. He's delirious. This is terrible. He may not last the next round. How about a little game to calm him down? All right. It is really alarming. If I may say so, he is not at his best. He must stay right where he is. We can't be too careful. What are you doing? Inez, go down to La Rue de la Beauvoir and see if you can find out anything about Pierre. Try to find him and bring him back, quick. He went down with Regis. If you bring him back, Regis may recover. All right. Got him, Regis. The black spot. Oh, that's bad. Suppose you can't find him. Don't worry. This way. The women look so mysterious. No doubt they say the same about you. Tramp? But you've got a heart. I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm not myself. What kind of a game is this? Concentrate! He's thinking of Piero. Yes, of course. Worry over a friend can cause unutterable anguish to a sensitive nature. You mean it makes him sweat? A certain exudation hyperactuated by an emotional stimulation. You don't mean him. Uh, uh, deal me out. Take care, Regis. Never go back on a friend when he's in trouble. Still waiting, little one? Um, um, you know what this reminds me of? A little place in New York on 42nd Street. That's the thing about traveling. There's always something different. One time I was in Corsica and I thought I was in Turkey. <laughs> and remember the time we were on the Nile and I thought it was Venice? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, do they, uh, do they have native music here? On the photograph. Oh, well. <laughs> What's that one? It's a uh, Cheka Tekla. Che Never heard of it. Must be native music. Mm -hmm. So you wanted to take another look at the strange wild animal? Strange, but not so very wild. How do you like my cage? I don't know yet. 
Do you like Algiers? I don't like traveling. It makes me homesick. Does it? I can't see Paris when I open my eyes in the morning. I want to go right back to sleep. Do you know Paris? Do I know Paris? La rue Saint-Martin. Champs-Élysées. La gare du Nord. The Opera, Boulevard Capucine. Arbès, La Chapelle. Rue Montmartre. Boulevard Rochechouart. Rue Fontaine. La Place, la place Blanche. Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> What a small world. Cigarette? Thanks. Good light. We're a long way from home. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, <laughs> he still thinks he's playing his last card. Go ahead. I'll tell her you said so. No, 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 I mean the rock she's wearing. Now, if it was me, I'd get them first and then do the fancy stuff afterwards. Shut up. You can't talk to me like that. You heard me. Shut up. Okay. He was talking about me? He was worried about you. About me? All that stuff you have on. Oh, that's nice of him. You're not worried yourself? No. Not while I'm with you. Right. This is something. Isn't it? And it hardly weighs anything. Look. At least 20,000 francs, hmm? Add a zero. Oh, I mean what I would get for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put it down again. You put it on. What's your name? Gabriel. They call me Gabi. Married? No. Widow? No. Why not? Who are you with? My fiancé. What is he like? Jealous. Oh. Stopping at the hotel? I let him. <laughs> What are you laughing at? It's nothing. Too bad. Too bad? Too bad I don't know you better. Why? Because I would slap your face. When people laugh around me, I like to know why. When I was a kid, we used to dance in the streets on holidays, New Year, 1st of May. 14th of July. How do you know? What do you think I was doing? Too bad you weren't in my neighborhood, Rue de la Bruyère. Rue de la Bruyère? That's where I live. I went to school on the hill. It was almost next door to me. No. Out. Where to? To the terrace. Can you see the harbor? You can see Montmartre. And the Champs Elysees. And the Place Blanche. I love the Place Blanche. Oh, I can't. I can't leave my friends. But I'll come back. When? As soon as I can. When? Tomorrow. How can I be sure? I never break a promise. Let me go. 
Why should I? Because I ask you. Say please. You are rude. Am I? I'll be expecting you. Here. It would be nice if we could meet at the Place Blanche. Well, what about you? I don't know. Didn't you go down to find him? I didn't want to leave you alone. I'm not alone. I'm with Madame. Do as I told you. Pierrot! Where is he? Who? Regis. Where is he? Come on. They got me, Pepe. The police. I didn't listen to you. I'll help you. <laughs> no, 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 said they'd never come back. I was fond of Piero. I regarded him almost as a son. Well, he's closed his umbrella. Pepe, there's no use in thinking about Piero. Don't you tell me what to think. It is a sad thing. Have you finished? I beg your pardon. It's very sad. You have fun of him. That's enough. Can a man talk? It's finished.
I did everything you would have done, Pepe. I was all alone at the cemetery. I followed the custom of your people, a handful of earth from the body and flowers to make him feel at home in such a strange place. It's hard not to be able to go down to say goodbye to your friend on his last journey. I'm your friend, Pepe. I know how you feel. You're a prisoner in the Caspa. But the day will come when they won't be able to prevent your leaving. You'll go out of the Caspa in spite of them all. I'll get out whenever I wish. When you go, you'll go quietly, the way Pierrot went. Feet first. Be patient. When the time comes, they'll take off their hats and let you pass. I'll go out alive. I don't think you're as foolish as that. Music, singing, gibberish. I'm sorry for you. How is she? She? You know. I'm afraid you won't see her again. The last visit was a little too much for her. She got a bad impression of the Caspar. It's a pity. Why should it be a pity? For your sake, since it seems to mean so much to you. To me? <laughs> so that's what you're so sorry about. Why are you standing there, staring at me? Do as I told you. Go on. And you too, get out. I've had enough. And you, I'm sick of looking at you. You seem to be sick of everything. Right. I'd bring her up to see you again if it were possible, but there's no chance. So, she's not coming back. That's fine. What? All oh, that swell jewelry. You had it right in the palm of your hand. That's enough. These people who look as if they can tear down everything. And when a woman looks at them, they get a softed butter. Get out. Well, I'm not made of butter. Not me. Get out. Okay. Your friends have no tact, my dear Pepe. They have no respect for the beauty of your anguish. Oh, I know how it pains you to live among this cattle. Let me assure you. They don't get me here. I'm free. Free to go. I'm sick of it. All of you. I'm sick of listening to you. And I'm sick of looking at you. I get up when I feel like it! None of you can stop me! Oh, listen to me, Peppy. I don't need your advice! None of you! I'm free to do as I please. Free! Do you hear that? You're walking into a trap. You know better. They can't touch me! I'm going down! Get out of your way! Let me! And what I please is now! Get out of my way! Man. He's going down to the town. He won't listen. Hello? I'll attend to it. Inspector Slimane. He says Pepe Lamoco is coming out. Where is she? 
Where is she? You lied to me, didn't you? Answer me, didn't you? It was the only way I could keep you from going. If I had asked you not to go for me, you wouldn't have listened to me. So... Uh, you ought to be fed up with a fellow like me. <laughs> I didn't know I could make such a fool of myself. You deserve something better than this. It's not what you deserve. It's what you want. Why do you worry about me? It's no good. I have a charm that brings me luck. You got us both luck this time. All the while I was running, I kept my hands so. <laughs> but you caught me. I didn't know you could run so fast. Don't forget, I've had practice. But nobody ever caught me before. Next time, give me a head start. Next time? Don't worry. Not till I get my breath. Thirsty. I'll get it. No, you won't. I said I'd be here. Well, you look as though you'd seen a ghost. I know a lot of people have told you, but what I'm telling you is different, see? For me, you're more than that. For two years, I've been lost, like walking in my sleep. Suddenly, I wake up, that's you. I don't know what I've been doing all that time, waiting for you without knowing it. Do you know what you are to me? Paris, that's you. Paris. With you, I escape. Follow me? The whole town. A spring morning in Paris. You're lovely. You're marvelous. And you know what you remind me of? <laughs> the subway. Close your eyes. Listen. Can you hear it? That's my heart beating. Does it go like a subway train? Faster. You're all silk and you jingle when you walk. And with all that shishi, you make me think of the subway. Isn't that funny? And potato chips and coffee on the boulevard. What did you do before? Before what? Before the jewels. I wanted them. Late. 
I must go. Suppose you don't come tomorrow. Suppose I don't. Can't you ever get away from the Casper? Why do you ask? Can't you? No. I'm caught here, like a bear in a hole. Dogs barking, hunters all around. No way out of it. You like that? Maybe it's lucky for you. I don't like it, and it's not lucky. You're right. If you don't come back, I might do anything. I might go down to the hotel to get you. Tomorrow, Pepe. Tomorrow? I never break a promise. Subway. Stream line. <laughs> Mademoiselle Boulevard Marengo. Did you get him? What? The hard way. What's the matter with you? If you didn't get the jewels, you've simply been wasting your time. What were you doing in there? Where? There. You're mistaken. You were not there. Say that again. We were in Paris. What? Okay. Life is simple if you try to enjoy before you die every bit of happiness Daddy, along the way. Take the joy that comes to you. Suddenly the world is new with a song that keeps you dancing every day. Say la vie. Fall in love and life is honey. That's life, you don't need money. If you've got a little honey in your arm, say la vie. I'm in heaven and I know it. Can I help it if I show it? Life is sweet as we can be for me. Good, the love is very necessary. Only love and you'll be happy, c'est la vie. You don't know just what you miss if you live without a kiss. For a kiss can bring a winter into spring. Everybody will agree. If you fall in love like me, you'll be happy. You will laugh and you will sing. C'est la vie. That's the life we should be living. Peace is morning, noon and evening. That's the life that I've been leading. C'est l'amour, c'est la vie. There is nothing like that feeling. Tell me what is more appealing than the feeling you're in love, may we? Love is very necessary. Fall in love and you'll be happy, c'est la vie. Love is very necessary. Fall in love and you'll be happy, c'est la vie. Ah! Pepe, what happened? Don't you know? It's a holiday. No, I didn't. No, what day is it? It's Sunday. Everyone takes a holiday. <laughs> but it's not Sunday. If I say so, it's Sunday. It's Thursday. That's the trouble with you. You always think it's Thursday. 
I didn't think so yesterday. <laughs> Just as a favor to me. Let it be Sunday. I want to stroll on the boulevard. I have a date at the Place Blanche. How do you like my singing? What's that good of it? You ought to appreciate the finer things of life. Who? Him? Oh. Ah, when you feel like that, sing. It quiets the nerves. You seem pleased. You've seen her again. Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, well, if you don't want to confide in me. Well, our inspector got himself a haircut. Did she come back? A regular Romeo. You ought to get a permanent wave. You're expecting it again today? The trouble with you, inspector, is that you do too much inspecting. Now, not a word about what I have told you. It's just between ourselves. Yep. <laughs> Good afternoon. I was puzzled when you phoned. My mission is a rather delicate one, but necessary. I merely wish to suggest that your fiancé is a little too fond of, shall we say, the local color of the Casper. What is all this? The Casper is hardly the place for a woman alone. She attracts too much attention, excites too much desire. We naturally wish to protect her from any embarrassment. Further embarrassment can very easily be avoided. She must not return to the Casper. Come in. Sorry to disturb you. You're going out? Looks that way. Where are you going? A walk. But where? In the Champs-Elysees. May I ask you to give me a sensible answer? Then ask me a sensible question. Where could I go? I don't know anyone in Algiers. I just walk straight ahead. Straight ahead? And where does that take you? I know when I get there. No, you won't. Because you're not going. Oh, yes, my dear. Your hotel bores me. The head waiter looks like an undertaker. And every time I step into this apartment, it looks more like a funeral parlor. Goodbye, darling. I know where you're going. Huh? You're going to the Caspar. So? You go there every day. Do I? To meet Pepe Lamoco. Ah. So now you're spying on me. You're going to be my wife. You don't make it a very pleasant prospect. And I won't allow you to behave like this. I'm glad you told me. What do you mean? We've got to be honest. Why do you think I'm marrying you? Look at yourself and then look at me. I've never lied to you. You knew I didn't love you when I promised to marry you and you thought it was all right. Until we're married, I do as I please. That's fair enough. I forbid you to go. It's a waste of time. If you go now, there'll be no use in your coming back. Well, you thought it all out pretty clearly, haven't you? And I advise you to do the same. All right. Goodbye. Don't. No. What? You can't go to the Casper. But really? Your fiancé was trying to spare you. He didn't want to tell you the truth as I told the tale. An attempt was made to capture Pepe Lemoko this afternoon. In a sense, it was successful. He was taken? Not alive. He was killed.
I just came to tell you it's Thursday. I know. I was right all the time. You see, I'm not such a fool as you think. So this is the Place Blanche. It's not much fun on Thursday, is it? It doesn't seem like Paris. What's got into him? Weren't you ever disappointed in love? Yes, badly. I'll try to please you. I'm like Pepe. I like him with diamonds. Now he's missed his chance. So I guess I'll have to go downtown and give my personal attention to Madame's hardware. What steamer? The Ville d'Arger, 10 o'clock. Good, make the reservation. Are you leaving? I suppose you won't stay for the funeral. Four, first class. Oh, uh, send up some whiskey and soda. You'll have a drink. Just a short one. Make you feel better. Anything wrong? Why don't you sing? Why don't you mind your own business? I am. Only I just thought you might be interested. I'm going downtown. What for? I'm like you, I'm bored. Anything in your mind? Just to look things over. When are you going? Now. No use to see a lawyer about it. Do me a favor? Sure. I want you to deliver a letter. I take anything that isn't loaded. Okay, I get the idea. Maybe I don't look like Cupid, but I'll manage. Chenille, pen and paper. Go to the servant's entrance. Give someone a good tip and tell them you've got to have an answer. Don't worry. I won't come back empty-handed. I'll wait for you at your house. I'll be back in two hours. Tell Tanya. Good luck. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Is that all? In the morning. Sun is out. Oh. I slept all that time. Carlos? He hasn't come back. He hasn't come back? I sat up all night. Can't take care of himself. I'd like to see him back with what I've got to tell him. This time I'll make him listen to me. Poor Carlos. La, 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 la. Same old story. Well, life is like that. Yeah, and we're dumb enough to hang on because we don't want the story to end. <laughs> Smart. Is Pepper here? What do you want? We've been looking for you everywhere. Why weren't you at home? Because I'm here. What do you want, Lobby? I must speak to you alone. What's the matter with us? Have we got smallpox? It's all right, you can talk. Pat, I'm ashamed of myself. What's new about that? Oh, it's worse than you think. I doubt it. Go ahead and insult me. I deserve it. You flatter yourself. It's about the letter from Pierrot's mother. I brought it and gave it to Aisha, but I didn't know it was from the police. If I had known the letter was written by Regis, I wouldn't have done it. Never. Go on. It was really a woman who gave me the letter. Uh, if I had known the truth, I wouldn't have touched it. I'm an informer. Yes, but I wouldn't have done a thing like that. Oh, you're only half an informer. The other half is all right. Oh, well, that's why I'm here. For what? Oh, I couldn't stand it any longer. Forgive me, Pepe. All right, stop groveling. It makes me sick. I want you to have a good opinion of me. So? I want you to believe me. That's why I'm here. To tell you they got Carlos. What? What about Carlos? The police took him. How much did you sell him for? I wouldn't be here if I'd sold him. First Piero, then Carlos. Bad luck always runs in threes. Your turn will be next, Pepe. Don't be so sure. So they arrested him. Who did it? Inspector Louvain. There were about a dozen of them surrounded him. Was there any shooting? No, no. They managed very quietly in a nice way. What did you have to do with it? I was at the police station when they brought Carlos in. I had a chance to see him in his cell. He gave me a letter. The one you had given him. He told me to take it to the hotel. 
Every time there's a letter, he's the one that brings it. It looks funny to me. Be quiet. Oh, I am to be quiet while you write letters to other women. Never mind that. You never wrote a letter to me. Shut up! So you went to the hotel with the letter. I did it for you, Pepe. Did you get it? What? The answer. Oh, she wanted to write to you, but she couldn't. She's being closely watched, but she expects you this morning. You can go down without any risk. Go to the service entrance in the back of the hotel. She'll be watching from her window. Is that all? Well, she wanted to come out, but she couldn't get away. You are not going down, Pepe. You can't. I tell you to shut up. Go on. She's waiting for me to bring the answer. What shall I tell her? Oh, she's waiting for it. Yes. I'll take the answer myself. You wait here. But, Pepe... Don't worry. My friends will take good care of you. Till I come back. But she expect me. What? Nothing. Oh, wait. Tell me, what about Carlos? Didn't he say anything else? Nothing. Did they search him? Yes. Oh. Then they took away the 5,000? Yes. You're sure he didn't slip the 5,000 to you? No. You're sure? My boy, the man. Your what? The man took the money. I saw him put it in his desk. You said Gabby couldn't write because she was watched. Yes. But in a little while, she'll be able to see me. I'm the key back of the hotel. That's funny. Oh, he's going to be away. Oh, I see. But why couldn't she write to me? He was there. And how could she talk to you? Uh, because... Because you don't know. Now, there is another thing that doesn't fit in your story. How was Louvain able to take 5,000 francs from Carlos when Carlos didn't have a hundred? I don't know. I saw the 5,000. Now, something else. Do you think Carlos is dumb enough to give you my letter, eh? Huh? All joking aside. But you're the letter. You think me so stupid as to believe he would give it to you, eh? Huh? All joking aside. I give you my word. You wanted to bring her my answer, and then I would go down to see her. Yes. For a woman who is closely watched, it's funny the way she can do things. Now I've laughed enough. You hear me? I'm full of laughing. I'm the head of my father. What of it? You was guillotined. <laughs> Carlos was arrested. And I told you. You had my letter, that's true. But they told you. After that, it fits. But after that, nothing fits. Now tell me what happened. Nothing. Shall I break your neck to refresh your memory? I'll tell Pepe. Hey. Slimane planned it all. Yeah? He told me to come to you. Go on. He thinks you'll come down. Then? The hotel is surrounded. They're waiting. Did you see the girl? No. Why didn't she come up yesterday? He told her you've been killed. That's what she thinks. Ah. She's leaving this morning on Ville d'Alger. Slimane planned the whole thing. Is it all? Yes. Thanks. You can't do it, Pepe. You can't leave me. What have I done? It has nothing to do with you, Ennis. You're a good kid, but this can't be helped. It's not your fault. I won't let you do it. I won't let you. You'll be killed. Well, blame it on the castle. It's for her. You don't care about anything else, so you're throwing away your life. But it's my own life. Oh, don't do it, Pepe. Don't go. Listen to me. Pepe! Thank you.
expect you? He is not coming here. He's gone to the boat. You expect me to believe that? He is going away with her. So you're the one to betray him. You couldn't wait to run to me. You call it love, but it means you'd kill him before you'd let him go free. That's what you've done. As sure as if you'd held a gun in your hands. I couldn't let him go. I couldn't lose him. I thought I'd figured all the moves of the time miscalculated. I didn't think of you. They have just time. In a few more minutes, it might have been out of our hands. Don't go. Give him a chance. I did. is going back home, and then going away again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a good time, didn't you, Andre? Me? <laughs> I never laughed so much in my life. <laughs> 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 you see, Pepe? We meet at the appointed time. Tell the truth, I almost missed the appointment. Not here. As you wish. I can't refuse an old friend.
I'm sorry, Pepe. He thought you were going to escape. And so I have, my friend. It's Randall Schaefer. I'm out of town tonight. But I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed the movie. Uh, feel free to leave a message at the tone. We'll see you next time on Hastings Mystery Theater. Yes, Randall. I loved it. Please hurry back. Dr. Tobel meant to communicate with us by that means. Eddie, the bomb site's gone. This is no simple crime that you contemplate. It's a staggering blow against your own country. We'd better hurry, Holmes. There's still time to save Farrell and Kern. Too late, Watson. By this time, Farrell and Kern are dead, too. What? Donate from the links in the video description below. Also look for our bonus movie link in merch to buy.